So I'm super excited because my peace lily here has a new little flower growing. I don't know if you can see that right here. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. It hasn't bloomed one in months. I don't even remember the last time, but there's some new leaves here too. So it's just, yeah, it's still growing and it just makes me so happy. I love this little bloom right here. It's so cute. So I am here in my art studio and I'm going to be continuing the rosehip painting that I started. Um, I I'm really loving how this one's turning out. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint for a little bit and yeah, I'm excited to be working on this today. on my painting and it's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, and honestly, I just want to keep working on this, but I actually have some freelancing work to do. So I think I'm going to take a break and finish this up tomorrow. So yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow. <music> which is such a dangerous place for me. Like Michaels and Target are places that I only go to when I have a list of specific things to get. Otherwise, I will just be tempted to buy everything and 
I don't need everything. So I went to Michael's to get a few things. One of the projects that I'm doing for my freelancing job is actually to do a commission painting for one of our customers and I'm going to be painting her home and I'm so excited about this. I haven't done any of my architecture paintings in a couple years probably. It's probably been a little over two years. So it's been a long time um, since I've been uh, shifting my focus to more pattern design and doing more like florals and um, yeah, watercolor paintings with the intention of creating patterns. So I haven't really been doing any commission pieces. Um, so this is gonna be something different. So excited about it. So I bought this massive watercolor paper, <laughs> literally the biggest size that they have and it's bigger than my desk. So I'm definitely gonna be trimming this down because the, the painting isn't gonna be that big, but I wanted to get a better quality paper than some of the ones that I have here. Um, since it is a commission piece, I like them to be as um, high quality as possible. So so that is, that is what I went there for. And then I also got a bunch of other things that I kind of did need anyway, but I thought it would be fun to like show you all the things that I got. And they were having some good sales. So that made me feel a little bit better about my purchases. But I actually found a little bullet journal and it's just a regular one, nothing super crazy, but I thought the gray was really pretty and it has like kind of a textured, um, focus, little textured um, kind of cover. So I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be good for like watercolors. So part of me, it, I don't know. I'm debating about returning it just so that I can order maybe one online that would have better pages for like watercolor painting. So I don't know about this. I'm going back and forth. So we'll see. Um, Cause the pages do seem pretty thin, but I couldn't find any other ones at the store that had pages for watercolor specifically. All of these are more for ink. So I don't know, still debating about that. But I did get some more pens and brush pens for the bullet journals. Um, so I don't have any green markers, so I got these two. Um, they're kind of more like an olive color and I don't know, maybe they have the names on them. I think it's just like the number though. Yeah, it's just the number. But either way, they're the dual brush pens, so they have like the finer tip on one end and then the brush tip on the other. I don't know why it's not focusing. Focus. <laughs> like wants to focus on me <laughs> okay so either way they're the dual brush pens and then I also got this really pretty um, magenta color again I don't know why it doesn't want to focus on it there we go <laughs> so it's just a pretty color and then I got some more of my micron pens the 005 is probably the one I use like the most <laughs> It's not wanting to focus. Okay, so it's the 005 and then the 03 I also use a lot too. So those are dying from my assortment, so I got those to replace them. And then I got another um, watercolor brush. It's the size zero. I like really fine tips. And the one that I've been using is just kind of, it's kind of old and um, I needed a new one. So hopefully this one will work. And then I also, I had to buy a candle because they had all of their fall scents out. And I mean, September is next month, so I might as well just go ahead and prepare for fall. I think all of my pumpkin candles are gone anyway, but like, even before opening this, I could already smell it, and it smells so good. It's pumpkin pie, so pumpkin, cinnamon, just all of the most delicious scents. So I'm refraining from lighting this now because it, just, it smells so good, and I want to go ahead and light it and have my entire home smell like fall, but I feel like it's a little bit too early. September 1st, though, yeah, absolutely, I'm lighting this, but... <laughs> Or maybe as I'm like working on some of my fall paintings, maybe I should do that because I have been lighting my coffee candle for that. So we'll see. But anyway, very excited about these purchases. And yeah, still debating about this journal though. I really like the cover of it, but I also just thinking practically, I know that I'm gonna wanna be using watercolor. So I just don't know if this is gonna be the best paper for that. So, 
I may just look on Amazon. That's probably what I should do. So we'll see. I will let you know though. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm probably going to play around with some of these right now um, or work on something else. I don't really know. We'll see. So tonight is a meal prep night and I love making meals for the week ahead of time. It's something that I got into when I was working downtown full time and now that I work from home it's just so much easier to have all of my meals planned out and ready to go um, because when I'm hungry I just want to go ahead and eat. I don't want to have to think about what I'm going to make or go out and buy something. So meal prep totally works for me. So um, I've already done all of my grocery shopping and planning so I'm going to be making a blueberry coconut baked oatmeal for my breakfast meals and then for lunch I'm making a tabbouli, tabula, tabbouli salad. I'm like probably pronouncing that so wrong but it's a Lebanese salad um, and then some za'atar bread on the side and then I'm also going to be making some fish tacos with a creamy cilantro lime like dip and a little like a coleslaw to go with it. So very excited about this. These are some of my favorite meals to make. They're also super easy. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the evening making all of these and I'm so excited. This is literally one of my favorite things to do is to just meal prep, listen to some music or a podcast or something. And yeah, it's just like a nice way to like end my evening. I've had a busy day of video editing and just a bunch of freelancing projects so this is kind of a nice way to like wind down even though it's still kind of working in a sense but but yeah so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process and let's just get started. <laughs> 